Okay, the pulley problems are easy to solve in this case. Uh, of course, in all of them, we are looking for tension force. In this case, the f of friction is negligible, and always the m of the uh, chords are negligible. Um, in this case, actually, let's draw the forces first. Uh, this is M1G, which is dragging the whole thing down, is actually causing the movement in the whole thing. And this is the T. And this T is equal to this T. The T in the entire uh, chord is the same. Uh, so, uh, for us, in order to find the T, we first need to find the acceleration. So, we first consider the whole system. I call this circle method because I draw a circle around the things. Now, for the whole system, of course, the T's will cancel each other. So, the total force, force total, equals M total A. And the force total would be... Uh, M1G because the T's are cancelling each other and uh, M1 plus M2 is the M total times A substitute 3 times 10 equals uh, 3 plus 2 times A so the A would be 30 this one goes at the bottom and it would be 5 so the A would be 6 meter per second square now what I will do is that I draw another circle. I draw this circle here. And in here, I only consider this part as a system. And I can see that F, to, F in here equals, F in this circle equals MA in this circle. It would be M1G minus T equals M1A. And it would be m 1 is 3 times A, which I already found, and this would be 3 times 10 minus T. T goes to the other side. It will be 30. This one goes to the other side, becomes negative, minus 18. So the T would end up being equals to 12 Newtons. Okay, so um, now that... Um, I know that the whole thing is moving with the same acceleration, right? Because uh, the cord is not uh, stretching or anything. Uh, they are. So now I want to test, actually. I want to test my T. Let's just do a test in here. I draw a circle here. I, wanna, I know that T's are supposed to be equal. So in this circle, M, I mean, this circle again, F equals MA. And in this circle, the T is the only thing which is affecting this because the friction is zero. So um, the T um, equals M2A. So the T I found is 12. M is uh, 2 and the A is 6. So check. I tested it and it was correct.